during the last centuries, many conflicts, battles and wars covered the world. Civilizations fought for domination and wealth. Many people lost personal items or buried valuables to hide it from predators and foreign occupation. Over the years, many of those ancient treasures and cultural artifacts disappeared, deeply hidden under the Earth's surface. The human evolution continued and technical inventions were on the advance. First metal detectors were used to find lost rings and coins. And now, OKM's Rover C4 ground scanner is available to detect all that deep buried treasures from the past. Controlled by an interactive color touchscreen, it shows hidden treasures live via LED orbit and generates stunning 3D graphics of hidden objects. Hi, I'm Ronald, your salesman and trainer at OKM. I will help you to find the best OKM product like the new Rover C4. The Rover C4 is easy to handle by the new color touchscreen display with multilingual user interface. Also the Rover C4 comes with new antennas with an innovative LED orbit which will help you to find treasures during the measurement. Also the Rover C4 comes with the software Visualizer 3D which helps you to analyze scan data and find information like depth and position of hidden targets. The ground scan operating mode is used to create 3D graphics of the underground. Therefore, the operator has to walk several paths to collect enough data. The distance between sensor and crown should be around 5 to 10 cm. For this example, we will define an area of about 5 by 5 meters. You always start on a corner and scan from right to left, as seen in this example. The red lines are our scanning passes. You can easily see that this is the parallel mode, since all arrows pointing to the same direction. Each of the blue dots represents a scan value that can be measured manually or automatically. Now you start walking the first path to collect measure values. If the first line has been finished, you come back without measuring and then you step to the left to scan the next path. This procedure is repeated for all scanning paths. As you can see in this perspective, there are two lines and about 8 scan values that hit our treasure. If we lower the number of passes, also the number of values hitting our treasure will decrease. But if we increase the number of scanning passes, even more scan values will hit our treasure. This can also be influenced by decreasing or increasing the number of scan values per path. The more scan values hit our treasure, the better you will see it underground. On the left side you see a scan image with only 4 lines and 5 impulses. And on the right there's an image with 13 lines and 35 impulses. Can you see the difference in quality? One more thing. It's absolutely recommended to repeat each scan in the same way with the same parameters. This is called control scan. Next to the parallel mode there is zigzag, where you scan forth and back. We are also starting on the corner and scan the first path. Now we step to the left and scan the second path, backwards and again to the left and scanning the next path. 
We repeat this procedure until we finished the scan. This procedure is for professionals only and not recommended for beginners or on hard terrain. One more thing. It's absolutely recommended to repeat each scan in the same way with the same parameters. This is called control scan to make sure the values are valid.